All right, and we got a four season bumper here that's going out to a customer. Um, this here is out of mold. Just want to show you how it looks when it's right out of the mold. You can see I still got the flange here with gel coat, extra gel coat that I haven't even grinded off of it. Here, it goes all the way across the bumper. You can see it on the side and down here at the bottom. So all that hasn't been uh, sanded down yet. Same in here around the grills. But this one came out pretty good. Show you where there's a couple little hiccups on it. There was a tiny little, tiny little chip there when we popped it. Kind of chipped the gel coat a little bit. That's an easy fix. Some filler. And I did chip this corner real, real, uh, kind of, it's not too bad, but it's a little bit of a chip. But that's, again, that's an easy fix. A little bit of a uh, bondo hair up on there, and, and, uh, we'll smooth that out. But then it happens. Again, these bumpers don't always come out perfect. Sometimes when you uh, wrestle to get the the second part off of the mold, and it likes to grip in those spots, especially in the corners. But uh, no need to worry, because everything I do now is finished form. I don't do any out of mold anymore, because problems like this, like little chips here on a corner or something, I know there's a lot of people that don't know how to fix stuff like that, so I just prefer to do everything finished so uh, you know it's it's professionally done by somebody that knows what they're doing and uh, not much sun right now you can see the clouds above me beautiful sky so we're getting some rain in California so be prepared back anyone on the East Coast that the rain is coming uh, storms are coming it seems like they always hit here first on the West Coast but yeah, back to the bumper. Um, I'll let this thing, um, I don't know if it's going to be hot enough for it to kind of bake in the sun, but uh, yeah, I'll go over it, make sure there's any more air pockets I, I can find before I actually uh, sand this down and primer it up. All right, let's take a look on the inside of this one real quick. Um, you can see the mount flanges, nice and thick there both sides nice and thick okay we put some X mat up on that you can see that's X mat that we put there to help strengthen the the flange and we'll see the inside to see how it looks you can see in here there's no drippiness no resin buildup which is good and it's nice and uh, tucked in nice and rolled out a couple little spots where it's I got some fiberglass in here that I gotta take and sand that out with some uh, sandpaper. I'll I'll do that before it's uh, shipped out. Yep, that's the. Uh,